in two decades, Elizabeth Hurley has captivated us as a world-famous model, as the spy in two Austin Powers films, and for more than 20 years as a model and paid spokesperson for Estee Lauder, helping to raise more than $70 million for breast cancer research. For Hurley, whose grandmother passed away from the disease, the pursuit for a cure is personal. I sat down with Elizabeth yesterday to talk about her work with the Estee Lauder Company's breast cancer campaign. So tell us about how you got involved in breast cancer research and fundraising to begin with. It, I know it had something to do with your grandma. It did. Um, I lost my grandmother to breast cancer in the early 90s. I joined the Estee Lauder Company a year or two later. And Evelyn Lauder, who was Estee Lauder's daughter-in-law, came up to me straight away and said, I've just started this new campaign, would you help me? I said, yes, yes, what is it? And she said, well, women all over the world are dying of breast cancer and nobody is talking about it. I want to change that. And it really struck a note because my grandmother didn't talk about her breast cancer. We found out later she found a lump herself and hadn't told the doctor for over a year because she was embarrassed and was scared. You know, at that time there was no pink ribbon Nobody spoke about breast cancer. Evelyn Lauder did so much uh, to draw attention to this issue. We wouldn't have the pink ribbons. I mean, you, no one really knows where the pink ribbons came from, but that started with her. She gave you a gift for your 40th birthday. She did. She gave me a mammogram for my 40th birthday present, and she made me solemnly promise that I would have a mammogram every year and think of her. Were you scared? I mean, when I turned 40 and had my first mammogram, I was scared. You don't know what it's going to be like when you have your first one. It's nothing like as bad as everyone says. I mean, right. it's not painful at all. It's slightly uncomfortable. Of course, I was scared to hear the result. I'm scared every year. Right. Yes, I am. And even though we're nervous before it, the relief afterwards feels great. And also, because we know that breast cancers um, are 90% curable if found early, the fact that you do it every year, the fact that you self-examine, means the fear is diminished because you know if something bad was found, it wasn't there a year ago. Mm -hmm. It's so curable. And That's it, the thing about breast yes. cancer. It's very curable. It's looking better, but it's not there yet. You know, there are still women dying. Every two minutes, a woman in the United States is diagnosed with breast cancer. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer still in their lifetime. We saw that stat, one in eight women, recently when Julia Louis-Dreyfus announced that she was the one on that day. What did you think of her public announcement? The fact that she's prepared to talk publicly about her very personal experience, I think, means that she's going to help a lot of women. I think she's going to help encourage women to check their own breasts, to go for their own mammograms, and to know that if they have bad news, they can share it and be supported by people. So I'm full of admiration for her, and obviously I wish her the very best. All right, let me shift gears with you for one second, because I understand that not only are you spearheading this campaign, which you've been doing for 20-plus years, you are a spokesperson and model, uh, but you are the star of The Royals uh, on our sister network, E. Yes, that is true. We've just wrapped season four. Queen Helena. Yes, yes. Okay, Queen Helena. And not only are you in The Royals, but you're acting with your son, Damien, for the first time. Last year, he was in an episode. He was fantastic, but I only interacted by watching him on the screen. This year, he has some scenes and I get to act with him, which, I mean, it was magical for me. You seem happy. I am happy. No, I am happy. I'm very blessed. I have my son, who is the light of my life. I have great family, great friends. Right now, a great career. Anything could happen and come crashing down in show business. You know, doors open, slam you in the face all the time. But um, I am happy today. I understand that Estee Lauder has this new campaign now that if you come up with a unique yes. selfie, right, yes. either on Twitter or on Instagram, then as long as we include the following hashtags, it has to be, hold on, I'm going to read it so I don't mess it up. Hashtag pink ribbon 25. You got it. And ELC donates. Yep. All right, so then they're going to give $25 to fund a half hour of breast cancer research if we do this. So, per and not just us. That goes up. You have to put both of them. So do, would you mind? Absolutely. All right, Let's do so it. I'm going to take a selfie with Elizabeth Hurley. This is kind of exciting. Um, I mean, it's for breast cancer, so it's a, a good cause and a fun memento. I'm the worst at these, but here we go. It was, it was exciting. It was also humbling. It's a humbling to be next to Elizabeth Hurley in any camera situation. Uh, but God <laughs> bless her for all she's done. She really has worked tirelessly. And man, I mean, Estee Lauder, thumbs up to them because Evelyn Lauder did a lot, a lot to help uh, research.
Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.